Happy Friday the 13th. I'm Jordan and you're not. And this is my review on Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, for like 15 minutes. Now, this is probably my third or fourth favorite. Like, yeah, as I said in my previous, you know, Friday the 13th review, I uh, I like the later sequels better. The ones that were kind of, that were like so out there, that, that were so ridiculously cheesy that you can't help but love it. Like, Friday the 13th Part 7 was like basically Carrie versus Jason, and Part, you know, 6, I love that one too, that's probably my favorite one. This one, Jason gets on a boat and try goes to Manhattan for like just a little bit. Part 9, I don't... Maybe I'll review that. I don't know. Then, then Jason X, he goes into space. You don't get more ridiculous than that. Okay, so <clears throat> at the end of part seven, Jason, uh, Tina's dad comes up from the grave and just pulls Jason back into the watery abyss. That's stupid. And, and uh, let's see, this one, a boat anchor gets onto him, and then, like, a, there's, like, a electricity loop thing down there, and that kind of rejuvenates him, and that kind of, he comes up, and he looks completely different than how he did in the last one. He has, like, a full suit. It's, like, all slimy, and he has gloves on, and he has a different, then well, there's a guy who just, who just happened to have a hockey mask. That's too much of a, of a coincidence. All right, so this this uh, this graduating group or you know group group of graduates like you know I guess they graduated high school, or are, are going to uh, going to Manhattan on this huge boat, and uh, see Rennie is our main star. Rennie, she's like a hot redhead. If, na like now, like now today's time, if you watch the documentaries like Crystal Lake Memories or uh, his name is Jason, she is smoking hot. Mm, know what I'm saying? Yeah, she looks. She get. She got better with age. Here, she's just kind of eh, like a, like a you know twenty something, maybe a teen. But now, mm, know what I'm saying, son? Okay, so her and her well, her her boyfriend was really kind of down because you know he didn't think that she would make it to onto the boat, but she does. So he gives her this little medallion of the Statue of Liberty, and he's all. Oh, we're gonna go up on it when we get there. We'll make out on it. We'll kiss it. And well, he doesn't really say that, but he is kind of lovey-dovey with her. And then we have Rennie's uncle, who was all get away from her, stay away. She wants. She needs to be alone. Or something. And I don't know. He's just, that's his. The guy that plays that him is a Charles something. It doesn't even say on this back. It doesn't say any names of people. That's that's how much they care about their cast. I guess I should have researched that first. I just usually I just look on the back of the cover just to kind of look at it and just show how lazy I am. But these people are lazier. They these they outlazed my laziness. That's messed up. All right, so we have all these. Yeah, you have the popular blonde girl who and, and her her Chinese lady friend who is kind of like her like Robin, like her Batman and Robin. Now she's all popular and she's all flirty with everyone, and there's this guy, this nerdy guy with the camera, like me, and there's this rocker chick, and you got, uh, yeah, you have, like, oh, you have, like, the, the African-American boxer who beats the shit out of people. Now, he, uh, yeah, so Jason goes around, he kind of, yeah, so for some reason, this huge, like, Crystal Lake, it's like this little, you know, lake out of this place, and all, all of a sudden, it's this huge place where all these, you know, where this huge boat gets in and all these, you know, kids, you know, board up, you know, go all aboard on this boat and it looks like, you know, Titanic and everything and how did this little tiny little crystal lake expand so much over the years? That's stupid. But so anyway, since I guess Jason figures that this boat is in his territory, he may as well get, get on board and start killing some kids. They even got a disco room. And yeah, you even see like Jason in, in a disco room. And Jason, he like appears like, first he's there, then all of a sudden he's over there. Like, how, how did that even happen? How does that work? And then Rennie, she kind of had a problem with Jason like back when she was a kid. And for some reason she can see like Jason as a kid when Jason's 
there. I don't. I think Rennie's just crazy. She's like a crazy redhead. Well, redheads are just crazy in general. I hope Megan doesn't beat me up now. She's probably watching me. Okay, so, yeah, Rennie and her boyfriend, I can't remember, Sean? Maybe I think it was Sean. And the, she has a dog named Toby. I used to have a dog named Toby back when I was a kid. So Rennie and her dog, and I think Sean and her, her uncle, get away from her. There's one, yeah, there's a, there's a line that my dad and I like when whenever it's on, like, this, the, the, the hot, you know, blonde chick is all flirty with the teacher, and he, she's trying to, you know, seduce him by getting a higher grade, and he's like, he's barely putting up a fight, he's like, you stop that. Like, while she's, like, taking off her robe and being all sexy, and they, that, that's, that's a funny line, you, you stop that now, or something, I don't know, something like that. Okay, so, Jason kills people with spa rocks. I don't know, or like a sauna, like there's like, you know, you pour that hot water on those rocks and it kind of gets you all hot and steamy. So he takes the rock and he just shoves it into a guy's stomach. And then you got uh, the nerd guy who gets, he loses his glasses, he can't see without his glasses because he's a dork. He gets burnt to a crisp and the, the rocker chick gets her head bashed in with a guitar. There's spoilers in this, by the way, if, you, if you've never seen this movie before. And then finally, they uh, like very few of the crew of, of the uh, of the group survive. I guess Jason killed every single one of the other graduates who we never actually see him, you know, do it anyway. So they like there's like maybe four or five survive. Those who arrive survive, and then they get to New York and they see you know, the Statue of Liberty. They see the World Trade Center, which was you know used to be there. Then the some retard named Osama bin Laden had. You know, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to make 9-11 jokes. I'm, I'm above that. Just know that just know that Osama Bin Laden is dead now, and he deserves to be. Okay, so then we see that Jason is there in Manhattan for 15 minutes. So they're running around Manhattan, yet, yet they can, they, they, Jason knows where they are, even though it's, a, the, it's the hugest place, in the, the hugest city in the world or whatever. I've never been to Manhattan, so I don't know this shit. There was one funny scene where there's like these rockers or just kind of this goth guys just sit down and you're listening to this radio, you know, rock music. Then Jason just kicks the radio and they're like, what the hell, you dead meat slime bag? And he lifts his, he turns around where we can't see his, his face and he lifts his, his mask up and shows him what he looks like. They're like, oh shit, it's cool, man, it's cool. And then he, that's, that, that's, that's actually a pretty funny scene. And then the way Jason dies in this movie, it's so stupid that it's it's stupid I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil it for you I, I'm gonna tell you what it is I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you if you don't wanna be spoiled for it I'm gonna tell you what it is sewer water or toxic sewer water and somehow this sewer water transforms him into like his little eight year old self how he used to be like back in the day I don't know if it's supposed to be in the in Rennie's mind or like how she how she sees him because she had a run in with Jason back in the day or if, if somehow New York has this magical sewer water that could so New York found the the found of youth. In the, it's in the sewer system. That explains it, right? I'm going to go to New York. I need to get younger. Well, of course, I'm only 17. Okay, okay, you got me. I'm 19. Yeah, but, see, but yeah, that was probably the dumbest death in the whole, of Jason dying in the whole Friday the 13th series. They even have one time of Jason being bl blown to, to a bit. That's actually pretty cool, but that, that's the next one. But yeah, this one is just, uh, why, you know? Like, why have him deteriorate to like his little eight-year-old self and he's just there, like laying there, out dead looking. So seriously, I cannot tell if it's supposed to be that or if it's supposed to be all in this crazy redhead's mind. That, I don't, I don't get it. But in all, I would give this movie a B plus because even though it is pretty kind of stupid and cheesy, I like it. It's Jason for crying out loud. Yeah, it's Jason. No, it's, to me, it's Michael, Jason, Chucky, and Freddy. And oh no, yeah, wait, in that order. Wait, Michael, yeah. Michael, Jason, Chucky, Freddy, and Ooga Booga. So yeah, if you want to see Jason in Manhattan for like maybe 10 minutes of the movie, check it out.